Located in the middle of a truly unique urban space, Seven on T is undeniably something to marvel over. With views that stretch across the shimmering coastline of the Atlantic seaboard and harbour, Block redefines what modern urban living is. This apartment is slightly retreated from the bustling Greenpoint epicentre, which if you're looking for a secure, quiet haven, this is ideal. Today we looked at a two bedroom apartment with exceptional views. I really hope that this camera does this for you justice, just so you can experience what I experienced. Tranquility. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Let's Prop In. If it's the first time here, I go by the name of Sabia Sabia. What we do in this show is that we explore and showcase beautiful properties in and around South Africa. Today we're in Greenpoint, Cape Town, looking at a two bedroom apartment, nice finishes, quite modern and the view, guys, the view is amazing. Um, shout out to Richard Hardy, the listing agent for this apartment. I'll link his details in the description, but let me not talk too much. Let's see this apartment. The layout of this apartment is quite simple. You have the main area flanked by both the bedrooms. Each bedroom has its own bathroom, but the one bedroom is an ensuite. Let's take a look at the first bedroom. As you move into the first bedroom, I think the, the first thing that you, you'll notice regardless is the view of Greenpoint Stadium. It's an unobstructed view and it's just breathtaking. Um, waking up to that view, I could imagine you, <laughs> it, it could be amazing. Anyways, this room is nicely sized off-white paint and I really like the ceiling, how it's a suspended ceiling with the bulkhead um, enclosing this suspended ceiling. And in terms of these cupboards, um, uh, actually no handles. How do you, how do you open this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, okay, that is that is a neat trick. Um, actually, it's so satisfying how you just... Yeah, I don't know how that works, but it works. Um, enough enough space for, for a person. Um, wooden floors, really like the wooden floors, and the whole apartment is has underfloor heating. So that's perfect for winter time. Uh, really nice room, really like it. And the, the bathroom for this room is this size. And as you can see, it's nicely sized. It's like a dual use with the shower and the bath. Personally, um, not really sure about that. Um, normally, like, wet, normally like a shower or a bath, not two in one. But I guess in terms of space utilization, I guess it makes sense here. Nice finishes, simple, clean, um, white, light, and obviously soft closed toilet. I keep on mentioning the soft closed toilets, but it actually is quite impressive. Nice tile splash back here. Um, I like the dark tile uh, with the contrast of the white paint, really pops out. And moving into the main area here. As you move into the living area, I think the theme of the suspended ceiling plays a bigger role here. This area is it's interesting, a lot of character. Um, I think I really like how the, the limes and the greens pop up in every single corner of this living area. I really like that. I think that was intentional. Um, wooden floors, which is quite nice. It's a uh, almost a uh, off-white, not off-white, but a washed wooden floor. Um, quite a nice area, calm. And the elephant in the room is always that view. I think you can't not look at the view. It's amazing. Anyways, I really like how the TV is not in focus here. 
um, this whole area here of these artworks, it's quite interesting. Gives a different feel to the whole apartment. I mean, I really like a t I, I, I'm the same as any other person. I really like a TV, but sometimes it just attracts too much attention and draws away from the most important things in the apartment. Really nice Nokia with the flowers, um, a set here. Really nice nook. I think in this apartment, every single corner and nook has been utilized perfectly in, and it's used fully functional um, and as you can see this side you have a, a table here sitting area could use it for maybe studying at night or there's even a reading lamp here i really like this bookshelf or collection of books here it really brings a lot of character to the place i think the first my first impression was wow uh, it's like your own collection of books uh, throughout time and as you can see here, if you look at the floor, um, this area is demarcated. Like you can see a clear separation of the kitchen and living area. Uh, I think that's, it works. It works, um, the tiling opposed to the wooden floors. Um, and as you move in this side, this is the kitchen area. Nice finishes to the kitchen, nice white countertop with the gray cupboards. Um, really like this kitchen. Um, and it's, it's more of a longitudinal kitchen where everything just goes uh, linear. Uh, it's quite nice because you can see what's going on out there and so well, well lit because of the sliding doors. Gas stove, um, smeg sink, and it's just an overall nice space to be in. You can store most of your non-perishables this side if you don't want to use this space. Um, smeg um, overhead extractor, quite nice finishes. I really like this kitchen. As you move into the living, not the living room, but like more of the dining area, it's quite a nice use of space. The dining room table, I think, is in the perfect space um, opposite the kitchen. And I didn't see this at first, but you have cupboards coming out the other side. Um, quite nice. And I'm sure it's, it's, it's soft clothes. Um, <laughs> nice suspended uh, light fixture here. I'm sure at night it pops out. <laughs> and amazing amazing i really like how that painting just pops out um from the white wall i think it just pops out and obviously the ceiling is also suspended here in the in the kitchen um moving into the second bedroom in the second room i think in terms of sizing it's a mirror image of the first one quite nicely sized and it's this one the difference is this one's ensuite nice floor i really like the floor quite nice finishes and same cupboards i think this has more cupboards than the other other side um <laughs> still don't know how this press thing works but as you move into the bathroom or the yeah the bathroom of this room really nice tiling i really like the dark tile um put on a white wall it literally brings it out um nice clear glass here really modern fixtures here i really like this basin um really really nice bathroom um and then the thing is with this room even though it's the same size as the other one you have the aircon here which is quite it's quite a handy thing especially in the warm winter or oh, summer months and obviously same view as the um, the first room i think this not too sure i think maybe the first room has the better view not too sure it's still an amazing view um but to finish off saving the best for last um is the balcony this long balcony that goes the whole way out um with this amazing amazing view of Greenpoint Stadium, Waterfront, and Robben Island. Just amazing. As an apartment, this apartment is complete. I think as a package, it's complete. Wouldn't really change anything. I think if anything, maybe the, um, the shower and the bath um, put in one. That's like, I'm being hypercritical. That would be one of the things I'd change. But overall, as a package, I think it's quite complete. The wooden floors with the off-white walls, I really like that. And the finishes are quite modern, quite sleek. 
and really impressive. I really like the kitchen area, how it was just longitudinal. I really like that more than your wraparound kitchens. Um, but that's just a preference. Uh, the, the rooms were nicely sized with that, uh, <laughs> with that pressing uh, opening cupboard thing. Um, please comment if you actually know how those things work because uh, I tried pressing and it didn't work. But anyways, guys, I really enjoyed this tour in this apartment. Shout out to Richard Hardy for allowing us the opportunity to view this apartment. Um, really, really, really enjoyed doing it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed it. And until next time, my good friends, let's prop in.